You'll never get bored with unicorns around. Whatever you do, it's always fun. This portrait of my friend doesn't look very much like him. Oh my goodness, it's a monster! We need to come up with a better way. A clear folder will come in handy. Place clear plastic onto the face of your model and trace the outlines with a marker. Ready? This picture looks more natural. The portrait is way better than all the previous disasters. This day is as boring as this white paper. It's time to add some colors to it. Cut up some colorful crepe paper. Cover it with hot water. Take the paper out and dip white paper into the colored water. Tint it and let it dry. We colored our plain paper. But that's not all yet. Let's keep creating. Leave a few bright fingerprints. Gouache paint will do the trick. Are these just colorful spots? No! Get some pens and turn the fingerprints into cute aliens. Whoa! Look at that! We created a whole new planet of monsters out of our fingerprints. The whole world is a canvas when you are a young artist. Even a door can hold art. Thank goodness oh. the parents haven't seen this exhibition yet. Rubbing alcohol will help you remove marker traces quickly. Put it on a cotton pad and easily erase marker lines off the surface. And if you have a particular place you want to draw on, just cover it with plastic wrap and draw as much as you want. Do you like playing with toy guns? Rainbow Unicorn uses weapons only for drawing. But Ouch. it's not a regular gun, it's a hot glue gun. Apply hot glue to the details and the outlines of a drawing on a primed wooden base. Spritz acrylic spray on top. When the spray dries, remove the hot glue. Add details with acrylic paint. We are armed with a gun and spray. And a bright painting is all done. Who will get this masterpiece? My sister, of course. She loves unicorns! Welcome to the Magical Unicorns DIY School! Cheer up, you guys! Colored pencils can turn into a bright frame for masterpieces very quickly! Now that's wow. magic! Your turn! But we only have tiny pieces of pencil. Huh? That won't stop us. Remove the paint off old pencils using sandpaper. Cut a frame out of a square piece of cardboard. Hot glue the pencils to it. Color the frame with acrylic paint.
Now that's magic! A portrait of our favorite rainbow teacher will look great in this bright frame. Oh no! Cinderella didn't just lose her shoe, she lost her whole foot! That's so sad! Take all of this away! Nothing can help now! Even Unicorn is trying to come up with a way out. And she eventually comes up with something. We need monster therapy. Cut a plastic folder. Wrap the edges in parchment paper and seal them with a flat iron. Leave one edge open. Pour in liquid soap. Put in glitter and star-shaped sequins. Add googly eyes. Seal the edge with a flat iron. Cover the edges with decorative tape. Draw monsters on the folder with a permanent marker. The goal of this game is to find eyes for every monster. This is so much fun! We have forgotten all about Barbie's broken leg. Looking for eyes is way more interesting than crying. This picture is missing something. I want to complete this boring landscape. Cover the surface with plastic wrap and put out a clear canvas. Pour different shades of blue liquid acrylic paint. Distribute the paint over the canvas using a hair dryer. Pour yellow acrylic paint onto the bottom part. Adjust the paint with a ruler. Not bad, but a child can improve any picture. I just so happen to have a few fish that are looking for a new home. Draw a big fish on a sheet of thick paper. Cut out a stencil with a utility knife. Make a few fish of different shapes and sizes. Place the stencils onto a canvas. Hold it with your hand and apply paint using a sponge. Now trace the outlines of fish with a marker and remove the stencils. Define the details with a black marker. Now our fish look more interesting. Well, what do we have here? An ocean floor? We need some bubbles. Dip a marker cap into white paint and create bubbles near the fish. Oh, I'm a genius! This painting wouldn't look as good without my bubbles. A 2D fish tank is all done. My brother doesn't want to paint anymore. I need to make him interested in art again. Unicorn, help! What do we have? We should try some foil. I bet you haven't seen anything like this before. Apply acrylic paint to a canvas. Paint stripes. Create a color transition from the darkest to the lightest. Roll foil into a ball. Place the ball onto the canvas and make imprints. Paint a dark strip. Retouch it using foil. Scrape a line inside. Apply a strip of paint vertically on top. Make lines using an old toothbrush. Create a tree trunk. 
Add leaves using a foil ball. Paint a reflection of the tree at the bottom. It turns out that a toothbrush can do more than just brush your teeth. It can also create masterpieces. Amazing! A space landscape made with tin foil. Here's an unusual way to create a painting without brushes. We need a lot of paint and saran wrap. Cover a canvas with saran wrap. You can wrap the table too. And now paint with your fingers. Take the wrap off the canvas. Wow! We don't need brushes for abstract art. Did you like our drawing life hacks? Let us know in the comments what kind of painting you'd create. Would you use hot glue, plastic wrap, or foil and a toothbrush? And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel and click on the bell so that you don't miss new useful tricks on Troom Troom.